Yes, uh, I'm sitting here with my Tarot uh, Mini 250. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, to build it. I did uh, put the frame, uh, as I shown in another video, I put the frame together, which is quite easy. Um, couldn't actually be more easier, uh, probably. Um, so now I'm going to put on the, the motors and the ESCs and all that. So I'm going to start with the easy, uh, the easy part, and that is to attach the motors. Um, I don't know how yet to do that. I probably will put the, the wires on the inside uh, so that they are protected um, somewhat, uh, at least. Uh, when it comes to the ESCs, there is not a lot of, uh, not a lot of room and I want to try to get this as clean as uh, as possible. So um, I was thinking of maybe just putting the wires over like that and and um, and uh, and strip it um, and like this, uh, or um, put the wires through this hole. The uh, the documentation doesn't say anything about that actually. Um, Maybe maybe this is a cleaner uh, setup. I don't know. Um, I was thinking of that maybe maybe a vibration would uh, would wear and tear on the wires when they go through with these sharp edges in the in the in the board. And of course, this is a power distribution board included in on this tarot. So we'll just cut the wires to length and and solder them on where they are supposed to be. So I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Um, maybe maybe it's easier to just uh, to uh, just attach it like this, some double-sided tape and some uh, some zip ties, and uh, and then put the wires and just solder solder it directly on. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to start with the motors. So uh, I think that's going to be fairly easy. So if I uh, align, if I align the uh, motors, uh, so I want if it's possible to have the wires like this, and uh, where does it line up with the holes? So the holes are right there. So I can, uh, I can do it like this. I will only be able to to screw on the motors with two screws. So let's try one and see how that goes. I have all the screws over here. That is not the motor screws. This is prop nuts. So was there no motor screws with the set? I got this uh, Afro ESC and motor combo set uh, to use with it. I tried to put all the details in on eCalc and uh, it seems like it's going to be, uh, well, more than enough power. But uh, there are no motor screws on this. That's a uh, showstopper. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All these uh, that I have over on the side here is way too small for the for the engine mounts. So how? What were they thinking? Well, that was fairly quick. I will have to stop the video. Uh, take a look and see if I've misplaced the screws someplace. And um, if not, maybe I will have to swap them out. I have a, a, another set of, of motors that I that I can use. Um, so uh, let me stop the video and um, I will get back. Yes, I've been digging around a little bit and I couldn't find, I did find some screws that fitted, but um, I'm not sure if this is the correct screws. However, I also realized that the screws does not fit in the holes. So I will have to make the holes in the, in the frame bigger and I don't want to do that. So I've decided to go with this tarot 
uh, this is Terra uh, 1806, 2280 kV. Um, yeah, so I will uh, I will start with that. So the first thing I will do, these are clockwise and, and uh, counterclockwise engines. Now these are not, so this doesn't matter. It's the wiring that it depends. But with these, you have to be, yeah, you have to do it the correct way the first time. And, and, and if not, you have to desolder and swap them around. So. Um, so I uh, will have to, and I'm going to use a KK2 board for this. So uh, I'm going to, I'm pretty sure that uh, you're going to have motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, and motor 4. Uh, it's also labeled on the, on the, on the PCB here. Um, but I'm going to verify with the KK2 that that's the case in an uh, H style uh, quadcopter like this. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's going to be easier. I'm going to mount them like this and just solder the uh, wires to the ESCs and put the ESCs there. I'm going to use different ESCs. I'm not going to use these Afro ESCs anymore. I have uh, different ones. Let me see if I can find one. So I have this uh, Hobbywing uh, x uh, 10 amps uh, ESCs. So th I'm going to have to use them though. So um, let me uh, get all set up, clean the table of the stuff that I don't need, and uh, I will be back. Okay, I'm, uh, I've uh, attached the motors uh, and I'm now ready for the ESCs. Uh, the ESCs is going to be a little bit of a struggle just because of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the choice of ESCs. Uh, as you can see, the, the motor leads are supposed to be banana plugs. And uh, these motors doesn't have a banana plugs. It's just leads. Uh, of course, I could solder on some. Um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm gonna look, if I have banana plugs, I'm gonna use them. Because uh, if, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I, um, I was thinking maybe if you need to change it, you don't need to solder. But I'm going to solder the uh, ESC onto the PCB anyway. And uh, so if something, if something breaks, you will have to, yeah, it's going to be some work involved. Uh, so I'm probably not going to dwell too much with that but anyway i will need to extend the wires and solder them maybe directly the thing is that if you put solder in here it's i don't know how easy it's going to be to remove it if you want to uh, you know reuse the esc for something else later so i think the the best thing is probably to use uh, banana plugs if if you have some i'm going to see if i have i will use them if i don't i will not obviously um, anyway, uh, the next part is going to be to uh, to uh, to solder on the um, the ESC uh, to the to the uh, PCB board, the power distribution board, and uh, I'm going to have to do that off camera. Uh, and since it's it's only going to take up a lot of time, and I will just show you how I did it when I'm done. And um, and also see if I will do something about that. So let me start with one first and see how it goes. And um, I will basically just show you when I'm done. Well, I've jumped uh, uh, forward. Um, it is actually built, finished, uh, at least for 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 my use. Uh, it's not a very uh, nice, clean build. Um, that is because um, it's the, uh, my local hobby shop, Tiger Hobbit, that's going to have this, and um, he's not going to use this battery, and he's not, uh, not going to use this uh, this BEC that I uh, put on here. So he will swap that out. <coughs> so that's why it's uh, it's not that clean. Uh, however, I did uh, use the um, the power distribution board. Solder on the, all the connectors and all that, 
since we are using a different uh, 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 autopilot uh, flight controller than it was originally designed for, I'm not so sure if you are saving any um, any wirings with using the uh, the power distribution board. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, designed for the CC3 in mind, uh, and if you use that, I think uh, you will uh, save some wiring. But the way this is uh, set up, um, I don't think it's it's a whole lot. Um, you are saving. I do not have uh, any FPV gear on it and of course uh, you can also solder on some wires for that and, uh, and then you will probably start saving some wiring. Um, this I've already uh, tested it, I've tried to tune it, uh, I'm not that uh, familiar with the KK2, um, I'm starting to get a little bit more f familiar with it um, and it's actually quite easy to to program with this uh, programmer. However, you have to you have to get into uh, PIDs and um, and all that stuff. So um, it flies fairly well. Well, I'm quite sure that I can still uh, do some tuning. But I just wanted to uh, to to show you what I've actually what I did. I have uh, mounted all the motors. And I, I just soldered the uh, the uh, motor leads directly to the uh, to the ESC. The ESC it's a bit hard to see because it's in between uh, the bottom plate and the uh, the arm. Um, but it's actually then soldered uh, directly to the power distribution board. And um, and it's then it's broken out uh, motor one, two, three, and four. Here and uh, all of them are then connected to the uh, KK2. So, uh, well, I used the free uh, the uh, free sky receiver as this is not the S bus. Uh, that's why I need to have all the uh, all the uh, the wires like this, and I didn't have uh, the right um, uh, several leads, so I had to make my own. That's why it looks a little bit uh, dodgy, uh, but I'm sure that um, the owner is gonna is gonna fix that. It's gonna be much nicer. So, <clears throat> uh, if uh, it takes a little time to build it when you have to solder on to the power distribution board, uh, uh, and if you um, just whack the ESCs right on and put the um, the uh, the ESCs uh, connected directly to to the um, to the controller board, uh, then it's going to be a, a much faster build. That's for sure. Uh, one other thing, uh, the ESCs that I had does did not have a BEC uh, in them, so that's why I needed to um, to have an external BEC. To get uh, five volts to the uh, to my receiver, and also at this setup, the KK2 is receiving a power from the receiver as well from this uh, five this uh, five volt uh, BEC. You can probably uh, power it a different way, but I'm not going to look into that. Um, you also can have some voltage uh, sensing on it, but I have not uh, connected the, the cable for voltage sensing. So, so that's it. <clears throat> the, I have the battery underneath, and this is of course way too big. This is just for 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 testing purposes. Uh, a three cell, uh, three hundred milliamps. I think it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, more a correct size. This is a 2,200 milliamps three cell. So, but uh, 1,300 or something in that area would probably be best. Um, the motors does not take four cells, so three cell is the is the most you can do with this. 
Um, what else? It's very easy to fly. And you have two modes. I put it up for two modes. So you can have uh, manual mode or, or acro mode. And then you can also have the self leveling mode. And in the self, uh, I do recommend to start in the self leveling mode. So, um, yeah, basically that's it. So, it's going to be uh, uh, fun to fly, I'm quite sure. Yes, so let's uh, take a look and see if um, the uh, Tarot 250 Mini Quad uh, flies. So, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to lift it up in stabilized mode. So let's see. So it's just a little breeze uh, here. It's not a lot of uh, not a lot of wind. So it's very sluggish in this mode. Um, not a whole lot of reaction. But for a beginner, that's probably uh, a good idea. And I'm quite sure there are still some tuning you can do on the KK2. Um, so if I uh, land it, disarm it, and uh, I disarm the uh, Let's see if I disarm the... Uh... No, it's still in the self-leveling mode. So now it should be without... <clears throat> yeah. So now it's not leveling it out itself. Or is it? I think I will leave it with that and um, and I will can uh, bring it to the owner and he can uh, tune it from there himself. So thanks for watching.